Hey guys, Ryan here. And if you're new around here, welcome to Actually Used. We started this channel because we were fed up with all of those reviews from people who clearly just unbox a product, read the specs off the box, and called it a day. That's not how we work. We actually use each product before giving you our take. No marketing fluff, no sponsored opinions, just real world testing and actual everyday conditions. Because shouldn't someone tell you if that expensive pool robot is going to be collecting dust in your garage by next summer? That's exactly what we're here for. And today, I'm diving into the best robotic pool cleaners of the year. If you're overwhelmed by all the options out there, I've been there. But after a hands-on testing with the top models, I'm here to break it all down. I'll show you which ones are actually worth the money, which ones to skip, and why having one of these robots will change the way you clean your pool forever. Let's dive into what to look for when buying a robotic pool cleaner. There's a lot to cover, so I'll give you the specs on what you need. First up, the big question everyone's asking, corded versus cordless, which one is better? For me, it's not even close. Corded pool robots are the only type I consider. Here's why. And it comes down to three key things. Number one, better suction power. The truth is that corded pool robots provide more powerful and constant suction. It's like an electric drill. Once the battery starts to run out, it gets weaker. How do I know? Well, thanks to Monometer, a device that measures suction using PSI, I gathered real data from my testing and the results, shocking. In a test between the Dolphin Premier, Iper Scuba X1, and BeatBot AquaSense 2 Ultra, the Dolphin Premier blew them away with 2.1 PSI of suction compared to the Iper's 1 PSI and BeatBot's 1.6 PSI. That's up to 110% difference. While Iper and BeatBot both claim to have a higher flow rates on their motors, the reality is that the robot's suction powers are lower. Bottom line, if you want the most consistent cleaning power, the corded option is still the king. The convenience of cordless is cool and all, but the persistent, powerful suction from the Dolphin makes a measurable difference. Just something to think about before dropping your cash on one of these. Corded models aren't limited by battery constraints. That means stronger motors, better climbing ability, and more aggressive debris pickup. Cordless robots often have to compromise suction to conserve battery life. The results? Missed spots and weak cleaning, especially with leaves or heavier debris. Number two, pool clean automation versus constant recharging. So here's another huge thing about these pool robots that most people don't talk about enough. Quarter robots plug into a power supply and never run out of energy mid clean. That means no interruptions, no watching to make sure your robot didn't die mid cleaning and no waiting around for hours while recharges. But more importantly, they unlock true pool automation. Think about it, with cordless models, you're constantly playing the battery game. You put it in, it cleans for maybe 90 minutes, then you gotta fish it out. Plug it in and wait. Not exactly the set it in and forget it experience that ads promised me. Look for corded models with a weekly timer and auto start. These let you schedule cleanings in advance. Once a day, every other day, whatever you want. The robot wakes up, cleans your pool on its own and shuts off when it's done. You don't even have to press a button. That's the kind of set it in and forget cleaning cordless models just can't deliver. Having a cordless robotic pool cleaner means you're handling the device at least twice a day, once to remove it from the pool for charging and again to return to the water. This constant interaction not only creates more work, but also increases wear and tear on both the machine and you. In a contrast, a quarter robot with a weekly timer and auto start stays in your pool and turns on automatically each day. All you need to do is go outside once a week to rinse the filter basket. This changes the experience from a daily chore to a truly hands-off routine. Bottom line, a cordless pool robot isn't like a Roomba that automatically docks itself to recharge. I found that manually pulling a cordless robot in and out of the pool daily is a huge pain that a lot of other reviewers don't talk about. Corded robots, on the other hand, make it simple and easy, thanks to the weekly smart timer. And because of this, every pool robot on my list later in this video has a weekly timer. Number three, better filtration. So let's talk about filtration tech. This is one of those specs that doesn't get the attention it deserves, but actually makes a huge 
difference in daily use. The high-end corded pool robots come with what they call nanofiltration systems, which I first tested these nano filters against standard mesh. I was surprised at the difference. These things capture particles down to a few microns, while typical mesh filters let larger particles pass right through. What does this mean in the real world? The pool water went from, yeah, it's clean, I guess, to crystal clear in about 48 hours. It's the kind of clarity where you can see a quarter at the bottom of the deep end. That slight cloudiness that used to persist no matter what I added to the pool, completely gone. All thanks to these filters. These nano filters capture pollen, leaves, algae, you name it. Compared side by side with standard mesh filters, you can see the difference. Only a select few robots have these kind of filters. So you wanna make sure your robot has nano filters. Cordless robots just can't compete in the filtration game. And there's a simple technical reason why. These nano filters are incredibly dense compared to regular mesh, which means it takes serious motor power to force water through them effectively. The cordless models limited by battery capacity simply don't have enough juice to run that kind of powerful pump system for any useful amount of time. If they tried using nano filters, you probably get about 20 minutes of cleaning before the battery died. So cordless manufacturers stick with basic mesh filters, not because they don't want better filtration, but because the physics and power requirements just don't work with current battery technology. So are nano filters worth it? Yes. This is one of those features where once you experience the difference, you can't go back. It's not just marketing. A side note, before we get into it, just a quick heads up. This video isn't sponsored and we're not paid by the manufacturers. We may earn a small commission if you buy through some of the links below, but that doesn't affect our picks. These are simply the best models we personally tested and actually like. After trying out a bunch of different pool robots, our goal is to help you find the right cleaner. No fluff, no bias. Every robot we featured checks the box we care about. Corded operation, no batteries, no recharging, nano filtration for clearer water, strong suction and real cleaning performance. We've seen way too many videos online pushing flashy, cordless junk. And honestly, this isn't one of those. After actually using and living with these cleaners, we wanted to share what it's really like to own one and which ones are actually worth your money. Now let's dive into my top picks. Best value, Dolphin Quantum. Starting with my top value pick, the Dolphin Quantum. Why the Quantum? It packs a ton of high-end features at a surprisingly affordable price. It's the entry-level robot in Dolphin's Pro line. But honestly, after actually using it in the pool, it didn't feel like a budget option. It's all you need and a little more. You get a weekly smart timer with auto start so you can schedule cleanings in advance and let the robot handle your pool automatically. No recharging, no babysitting. All I had to do was clean the filter once a week. Speaking of the filter, the Quantum has what Dolphin calls the Double XL Max Bin, a filter that's 225% larger than the previous generation of cartridges. After using it, I found it quite impressive. And at the bottom, an has a massive seven inch cleaning width, which is larger than both the Iper Scuba X1 Pro Max and Beatbot Aquasense. Not only is it top loading, meaning it's super easy to rinse and clean, but it also includes nano filter and mesh filter panels. Like I said earlier, these filters are worth every penny from capturing small debris like algae and sand to larger leaves. I really love these filters. It takes only a few seconds to unlatch the bottom dump it out and rinse. It's super simple and it doesn't take as long to clean as some other pool robots I've used. What else makes the Quantum stand out? Horizontal waterline cleaning. Twin jets on the sides of the Quantum push it horizontally along the waterline. And when you watch it, it's really impressive. The brush on the front is an active scrubbing brush. Hyper brush, as Dolphin calls it, which means it rotates at double the speed of the back brush, making sure it scrubs away anything in its path. From my experience, this thing handled the pool with no issues. It didn't get stuck, it didn't miss spots, and after each run, I could clearly see the difference in water clarity. It just worked. And that's where for a pool robot. To recap, best value for the money. Weekly smart timer with auto start, double XL max spin, 
225% larger, top loading nano filters plus mesh panels included, seven inch wide cleaning pad, horizontal waterline cleaning, active hyper brush, reliable real world performance, best investment, Dolphin Premier. Now this is the sweet spot in the robotic pool cleaner world. You get a longer warranty, better motors, more filters, and it is an insane value. If you're looking for versatility and a commercial grade pool cleaner, the Dolphin Premier is the most complete package. It takes a Dolphin Quantum and kicks up a notch with commercial grade motors pushing 11% more power and suction alongside a wider nine inch cleaning pad. It has everything you want in a pool robot and more. What makes the Premier stand out is its multimedia system. You can swap between the included nano filter, a leaf bag, standard filters, and even an optional disposable debris bag, depending on your pool's needs. It's like having three robots in one. On top of that, the Premier offers commercial grade motors that are built to last, Smart Nav 2.0 for intelligent, efficient coverage, waterline cleaning with consistent scrub a longer three-year warranty, which is rare for robotic pool cleaners, weekly timer with auto start and media alert when using the Premier. I found the multimedia system to be a lifesaver. When leaves were dropping constantly, I'd switch to the leak bag. When I wanted crystal clear water, I pop in the nano filter. It gives a ton of flexibility without ever needing to manually skim the pool. And the waterline cleaning, it's legit. You can literally watch it crawl and scrub around the edge of the pool like it knows what it's doing. For me, that was the one I trusted when I just wanted to walk away and know the pool will be spotless. To recap, commercial grade performance, most versatile with four filter types, nano filter, standard, leaf bag, disposable, three year warranty, 11% more power than quantum, smart nav 2.0 navigation, nine inch cleaning pad, weekly smart timer plus media alert, true set it and forget it operation, excellent for seasonal and heavy debris changes, best for large pools, Dolphin Sigma. If you want cutting edge tech, the Dolphin Sigma is the most advanced robot in the lineup. Between the commercial grade motors, nano filters, weekly scheduling, and gyroscope, it's the one I kept coming back to as one of the best. It features three commercial grade motors for incredible power and suction, along with SmartNav 3.0, an upgraded navigation system that scans your pool and finds the most efficient route. It also connects to the My Dolphin Plus app so you can start a cleaning cycle or schedule from your phone. From driving it manually to checking stats on cleaning performance right on your phone. The Sigma has it all. And my favorite little quirk, it has Siri control. So, hey Siri, clean my pool is now a thing. With a 10 inch cleaning pad, it's the widest I've seen on a pool robot. And with over 4,500 gallons per hour of suction power, once you get it in the water. Like the Quantum and Premier, the Sigma also includes both nano filters and mesh filters. They're super easy to clean and set in dual cartridges, one on each side of the cleaner. You just pop it open, rinse it out, and put it back in. Super simple. Other highlights include gyroscope stabilization for precision on slopes and walls, a tangle-free swivel cable so you never have to untwist anything after using it. The Sigma felt like the most advanced robot in the bunch. It cleaned like a pro, and the suction, especially on fine dust and algae, was fantastic. This was the one I'd use every week. To recap, commercial grade, best overall performance, smart nav 3.0 and gyroscope precision, app control and Siri voice commands, three commercial grade motors, 10 inch wide cleaning pad, dual nano filters, 4,500 gallon per hour suction power, waterline cleaning pro, best for small in ground or above ground pools, Dolphin Escape. If you're looking for a robot for a small end ground or an above ground pool, take a look at the Dolphin Escape. It works for both above ground and in ground pools. While there is some misleading information in the manual, the manufacturer's site confirms that it works on both. So what did I do? I threw it in our in ground pool to test it. And let me tell you, it works surprisingly well, especially since ours is a smaller pool. While it won't do the walls, it doesn't have a weekly timer you can argue it isn't a great value. At only around $600, it's the cheapest on the list, but it doesn't disappoint. It's designed specifically for smaller pools and does an excellent job without overcomplicating things. The Escape skips some of the pricier Pro line features 
but still gives you Dolphin's proven cleaning performance. In a lightweight, affordable package, it uses powerful motors and a hyper brush that spins twice as fast as the standard brushes to scrub away stuck on debris. The filter is a top loading max spin, which is a huge plus. It's smaller than the Quantum's filter, but you can even purchase nano filters as an add-on for it. And just like the Quantum, I found that cleaning the filter only took about a minute after each run. It also features Dolphin SmartNav 2.0 scanning, which helps it cover the entire floor of the pool in a logical path. It doesn't clean the walls, but for many above ground pools with soft or flexible walls, that's not really necessary. Anyway, what I liked most was how lightweight it is. It's super easy to lift out and rinse off. No caddy needed, no awkward lifting, just plug it in, drop it in, and let it go. To recap, best choice for above ground pools, but also works on in-ground pools. Hyperbrush for powerful scrubbing, top loading cartridge and filter, lightweight and easy to carry, smart nav 2.0 scanning, no wall cleaning, which isn't needed for most above ground pools, quick and reliable cleaning performance in smaller pools. Final thoughts. So what's my take after actually using all of these? The best robotic pool cleaner is the one you never have to think about. You want something hands-off, fully automated with rock solid filtration, and that's exactly what each of these Dolphin robots deliver. The Dolphin Quantum is the best value, and it gives you premium features like nano filtration, waterline scrubbing, and a smart weekly timer at a surprisingly affordable price. I've used it regularly and barely had to lift a finger. The Dolphin Premier is the most versatile with swappable filters and powerful commercial grade motors. It adapts to whatever your pool needs, whether it leaves fine debris or heavy usage. This one just handled it. The Dolphin Sigma is the best for large pools. It takes everything the Premier does and adds smart control via app. Dual top loading filters and the smoothest navigation I've seen. This is the robot I kept coming back to. And if you have an above ground pool or a smaller in ground pool, the Dolphin Escape is your best bet. It's lighter, faster, and specifically designed for smaller pool surfaces without compromising cleaning power. At the end of the day, a good pool robot should clean so well and so consistently that you forget it's even there. No babysitting, no recharging, no struggling with poor filters that miss half the junk. You want something that just works day in, day out. And after living with these robots, that's exactly why I recommend them. I'm Ryan with Actually Used. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next review.